Hello, and welcome to this video for Physics 132, which is about a final point connecting the momentum and kinetic energies of particles with mass. What is the purpose of this video? This video assumes that you have already refreshed your memory on the definitions of momentum and energy from Physics 131 using the other resources provided. In this particular video, we will now develop a useful relationship between momentum and kinetic energy. This is a useful formula that we will use throughout this course. By now you should have refreshed your memory and know that for a standard particle with mass, such as an electron, the momentum of the particle is related to its mass times its velocity, and the kinetic energy of the particle is one half mv squared. If you look at these two expressions, they're fairly similar. Both involve the mass of the particle m and its velocity v. Now there are some important differences. The momentum is a vector, including the direction of motion, whereas the kinetic energy is a scalar and is independent of the particle's direction of motion. However, there's a useful way to relate these two. Begin with the magnitude of the momentum, removing the vectors, in which case it's just p equals mv, Square both sides of this expression, so you have p squared equals m squared v squared. Now divide both sides of the expression by 2m. So now you have p squared over 2m is equal to 1 half mv squared, which, hey, that's the kinetic energy. So the big punchline is that the kinetic energy of a particle with mass is equal to the magnitude of its momentum, p squared, divided by 2m. This is a useful expression, as I said, that we'll be using throughout this course. This concludes this video.